Yesterday, as the crowds were awaiting Donald Trump to surrender himself at that uh, Miami federal courthouse, reporters caught up with plenty of Trump supporters who were out there in the crowds, of course, showing their disgust and disdain for the entire rule of law here in the United States. And it was comments made by some of these rabid Trump supporters that prove that Donald Trump has been right all along. And that is that he could go out shoot somebody on fifth Avenue and not lose a single supporter. I mean, I'm sure we all remember that when Donald Trump famously said that during his 2016 campaign and based on the responses and of course a recent poll, it does appear that Donald Trump can do whatever the hell he wants and not ever worry about losing any support from his most diehard crazies. Here's a couple responses. Uh, this is from CNN. Uh, a couple of the folks in the crowd. Here's what one of them said. I think it's absolute tyranny. That's what, that, that's what is out there. It's tyranny. That's what we're seeing from the Biden system and from the DOJ just keeps getting worse. Another one said, we don't even care if he's going to be in jail and we have to write him in. You, you know, to a lot of us, it's like Trump or nothing. Like we're not even looking at DeSantis as the second option. We're not looking at anybody else as a second option. So even if he's in jail, they're going to vote for him, which means even if a jury of his peers, a South Florida jury of his peers with a sympathetic Trump judge, even if they convict him and send him to prison, these idiots are like, well, I'm still going to vote for him. It doesn't matter. He's my guy. I'm going to vote for him. I'm going to keep doing it. I love him. I love him so much. Then again, you might think, okay, well, yeah, obviously the people down in Mar-a-Lago are, or not Mar-a-Lago down in Miami. Uh, they're the crazies, right? Those are the hardcore. We love Donald Trump more than we love our own families. So of course they're going to say stupid things, right? You can't extrapolate from that and say that it applies to the entire Republican party. Can you actually we can because a new poll came out this week that actually confirms all of that crazy talk that I just read you. According to a CBS news, YouGov poll, 80% of likely Republican voters think Trump should remain eligible for reelection to the presidency, even if he is convicted. Now, technically that number should be a hundred percent because that's a weird way to ask that question. Now I am assuming that the response to that uh, poll question was 80% say they would still support him if he gets convicted, right? Uh, or that he shouldn't drop out. But the reason I say it should be a hundred percent is because even if Trump is convicted, even if he is sent to prison, he's still eligible to be the president of the United States. So I, I, I don't know whether to mock the fact that 80% of Republicans don't understand how the law and presidential eligibility work, which means they don't understand the constitution, or I don't know whether or not I should be very sad about the fact that 80% of Republicans clearly would vote for somebody sitting in jail behind bars. So it's either y'all are very stupid or well, y'all are very stupid. And there is a little bit of a distinction between those two possible things. One is you don't understand how the constitution works. The other is you don't understand how being a decent human being works, but either way, these numbers are troubling. Those statements I read to you are troubling. And here's why this is Trump's second indictment, 37 counts on this one. And what are we at? 34 up in New York. It's a lot. It's 71, right? we're not done, right? That's the thing that people keep forgetting. This is only half of Jack Smith's investigation and honest to God, this is the weaker half. This is just, Hey, we know you had the documents. This is the slam dunk, easy, quick thing, because you know, you can't deny that you had the stolen goods when we found the stolen goods in your house. The big one is of course, conspiracy to defraud the United States government. In other words, Donald Trump's attempts to overturn the 2020 election, that investigation is still ongoing. We're still most likely going to have indictments from that one. And his base was crazy enough after the Manhattan indictment, they got crazier with this federal indictment. They're going to go even more crazy when the other indictments come down. And by the way, that doesn't even include the indictments that we're going to get out of the state of Georgia by the end of the summer. 
Because yeah, those are going to happen. I think that much is pretty obvious. With each set of indictments, his people will go crazier. That's what we have to be ready for. And with each set of indictments, they're going to commit themselves further to their cult leader. So as bad as things have been right now with these idiot Trump supporters out there saying, we'll support them no matter what, trust me, by the end of the summer, it's going to get even crazier. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh not be so grumpy.